Welcome back, I'm Mike Festiva. This is part 12 of the Mini Penzgauer Build Series. In the last part, you may recall that we actually bead rolled the roof and took it over my friend's house and bent the edges down, but we still never got time to weld it on. So we're gonna finish that up, trim it out here a little bit more, and hopefully start working on the bed. So stick around, and enjoy the video. Well, the roof turned out really well. I'm happy with the way that looks. Uh, these little tiny vice grip style pad clamps are super useful. Use these and a few C clamps just you can just move them down your weld really quick. Make sure everything's locked down to the main framework really well. One other thing I wanna note, um, doing this work like this, I realize it's much better work from the inside out on all your spot welds rather than the outside in because you're gonna get a, like a ripple or a roll possibly in your metal you can't really uh, remove later. So inside out with all your spot welds. On to the next part. All right, so the mini pins has needed a little truck bed for a long time now. I got these sheets of metal here. First, before I actually get to rolling them, what I need to do is put some little crossbars on here to cut down on flex and vibration once we roll these things and I can tack weld them down nice and solid. So I'm gonna put the chops up here and start cutting some little 5 8 square tubing. Get this thing mounted up. So with the chop saws like this, it's super easy to make multiple cuts. Just clamp this chop saw down on a work surface, clamp down a piece of angle iron, and measure it off. Make sure the first piece is exactly how you want it. Bring the line down, make sure it's to your cut line. Clamp it and cut it. It's just really easy. You can just keep feeding the metal through and cutting multiple cuts. I do this at work a lot when I'm building like multiples of the same style like work table or rolling cart. It's a good way to go. Finally starting to finalize the bed here. Got this crossbar cut and it's clamped in place. We're gonna start welding that next. Just kind of finalizes the shape of the bed. Got a bunch of these little 5 8 square crossbars. We're gonna be welding in all on the bed here to support the sheets of metal. All right, let's get welding.
Well, it's nice to get those bars in here. It's starting to really look like a flatbed. I have to admit that with the weather kind of getting better here in Washington, coming out of this rainy winter, I've really had a hard time getting in the shop these days to work on projects like this. I had to force myself to get down here today to work on this. The weather's better. I just want to be outdoors. I can't really be in here anymore. So <laughs> I might slow down a little bit on the production of this thing just because I need to be outside in the sunshine when it's good weather. Cause out here in Washington, the winters can be so dark. All right, let's get some uh, sheet metal on here. I'm happy with the results. This is 16 gauge. It's This is rated for 18. So I didn't want to roll it really heavily for a few reasons. One, I was going to max out this machine. We're going to fight it more. These are long, awkward panels of roll anyways. But another reason, I just want to add a little strength and give it that truck bed look uh, without actually deforming the metal too much. I didn't know how bad it would deform. And these are big sheets, so trying to tack all these down and having like a curved piece of metal would have been a pain. Just trying to make it easier on myself. and. I'm happy with the results on that, so we'll take this in the shop and weld them on. All right, got to take some measurements here for the center plate so we can roll that. So I don't wear this red sweatshirt that often, but when I do, I think about removing these things. Most of my sweatshirts don't have these cords in them. Just a safety warning, if you have any sweatshirts or working around machinery of any type, large or small, or equipment or tools, Get rid of these they're not worth cinching down because you could be running an angle grinder it can catch it and pull your head towards the angle grinder or around some like a type of drive shaft on a piece of equipment and pull you in it's just not worth having these strings so if you have them on your hoodies get rid of them Always make a point to wipe down your sheets with some acetone or some cleaner before you actually start doing your layout. It'll save you quite a few Sharpies. So a quick little thing to note if you have a, one of these bead rollers. Basically I have a notch I need to fit around this post here. So I've marked that and I flipped the sheet upside down because I'm actually marking all these layout and all the lines on the bottom side of it. Because when you run it through the bead roller, 
I actually want these ridges to come up off the bed like a traditional truck bed, not down. It would make it really hard to weld if it was pointing down on the framework. So just something to keep in mind, pay attention to your layout and usually mark from the back side if you want it to come out. Quick tip, if you're welding and your welder's acting kind of funny, keep this in mind, this will happen on any welder. Get a bunch of buildup of this uh, little splatter in there. Just take some tool, like a needle nose or something, and just clean it out. Because it'll start actually grounding out to the tip. If you're touching the tip to the metal, the side of the shield here, the little copper tip here, and it actually gets enough of that buildup in there, it'll actually ground out between this, this, and the metal you're working on. Well, all right, that about wraps up part number 12. Hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, hopefully I can get to the bed rails and a little tailgate for this thing. Maybe starting some Bondo work on here to get it prepped ready for uh, doing some painting. We'll see. The weather's been so nice out here, it's been hard not to you know, go outside and spend time at the lake. We just had a stint of like 90, 95 degree weather. Uh, so I don't really want to be in this shop that much when it's nice weather like that. But for the 1% of you that actually follow me on Instagram, you'll see some little updates. Like I posted a video a little while back, he'll climb in with this thing. And I got a new vehicle. So the ones of you, the 1% that actually subscribed to my follow me on Instagram, you see what it is. And the rest of you on the YouTube channel are just going to have to wait. But that new vehicle I got is pretty cool. And you're going to see a bit more of it in the up and coming videos about three weeks out or so. Anyhow, oh, and there's a little new green welder I have over here. I've been trying out a new TIG, so I want to have that for a little while before I do a review on that. But there should be a new welder review video coming out in maybe a month or so. All right, until next time, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. All right, take care. Bye.